there's something most amazing here. If those atoms don't die, what does that tell you? They could never have been born. The Big Bang is just the walls of ignorance that the classical physicists see. And the discriminating consciousness, as brilliant as it is at manipulating the material world, they cannot go beyond that because they can't make the jump. See, you make a transformational jump and you see beyond this plane. You see beyond this plane. In the world of samsara, see, always, no matter how benign, see, and how merciful and how brilliant the egocentric mind may be, it always will cause some problem because there is always the ripple of the egocentric self there, personal agenda. What insanity we tolerate. See, we tolerate because we won't wake up. See, Buddha himself said, no perception of a subject. See, that's Dogen's to forget the self. No perception of an object. See, if there is no subject, there can't be an object. It just follows. If there are no, there's not an objective world, there can't be a subjective world. That's what Dogen says. Yasatani quotes. See, you are everything or everything is you. And that you isn't you sitting there with this conceptual notion of I. This feeling of separation. This I that the Shakyamuni experienced. See, when he said, I, the great earth, and all. This is not this little body trapped in the six senses. This skin bag is what pulls us and keeps us trapped here and keeps us trapped in a world of suffering where we will not step out and say, this is enough. Well, what are you talking about in yoga? Say it's enough that you're not going to continue to spin in your delusional thinking. See, Buddha tells you, perform meritorious deeds. See, that means do something even if we're not yet com completely enlightened beings. Like Roshi said, act as if enlightened. See, as if. That isn't a pompous, strutting uh, blowhard. I am such a spiritual person here. Let me bestow my gifts upon you. I, I can do something. You can't do squat. But you can do something for yourself. If you can do this thing for yourself to forget the self, no perception of a subject. See, then in, in Dogen, see, then you become enlightened by the 10,000 things. Enlight what is this enlightened state? This is this manifest state here. You are enlightened. You are the 10,000 things when the Shakyamuni said, I. Then he said, the great earth and all sentient beings. Everything simultaneously achieves the way. Everything. Buddha didn't live. It is all. See, it is all there. Everything turns with you at that point. This is what you have to see. See, this is your obligation. It's a burden in your universe, in that mandala where you sit. If you don't wake up, there will be no Buddha there. And you don't escape karma. See, the atoms have nowhere to go. And those that don't see in these classical physicists See, they don't ask the question that many of the quantum physicists are now beginning to ask. What is this thing that sits there and knows that it knows? And without it, nothing appears. See, they have to make that jump. They have to, one way or the other, and until they're able to drop the self, they won't experience the great liberation 
and they won't be able to actually work, see, for the good. See, only the most stupid, insensitive, see, deranged minds work in the world of greed. Not only does it burn all of the grass around their own homes, it burns their house down too. That's what you're seeing. And they always think they've beaten the game. You don't beat the game. Insanity. And you buy into it. We buy into it. I buy into it. We can do certain things. See, we don't become recluses. We don't go into a cave. That isn't the way. See, the great Zen master set down this path, the Buddha himself. You take the ten ox herding pictures. See, you rein in this crazy mind. See, this egocentric mind, this crazy mind that will perpetuate samsara, the pain and the suffering. See, I once heard that monk talk, but I don't know whether he was a Korean monk or a Japanese monk, came to, I don't remember, it was many years ago. And uh, I believed him. He had a way of delivering. I've heard a lot of monks talk and I just squat. But this monk actually began to weep over the Vietnam War. And he said that he truly believes that it is because of the inadequacy of his practice that these wars exist. I was stunned by that. And I wasn't very uh, far along in my practice. See, I still probably don't appreciate it the way this monk was appreciated. See, what an amazing thing. See, closer to I, the great earth, and all beings. See, not leave out all being, everything, see, is contained right where you sit. <laughs>